How's it going, guys? how I feel right now. Um, you guys, it is, um, there's a reason you guys, the Lord gave man a helper. It is not good for man to be alone. And when the man is united with the woman, and I'm not talking about you guys, I'm not talking about in a physical sense. Look Pat, you guys, um, I encourage you and I encourage you I, I encourage you to don't look at things the way that we grew up and that we were taught to looking at them in a physical way look at these what I'm saying in a spiritual sense okay look beyond the veil and in order to do that you have to seek the Lord with all your heart mind and strength you got to spend your time instead of doing the things that your flesh desires and that you want to do with your time spend time praying with the Lord spend time reading the scriptures the only way that you'll be able to see beyond the veil is the law but um, not the law of um not the the uh law of moses you guys right because we are freed from that it's even higher than the law of moses it's the law of love and i want to show you what i'm talking about okay so i'm going to leave a link Okay, come on, computer. Okay, you guys. This is um this is the eye, okay? Now, you guys when um when the Lord was talking, you know, or I'm sorry, when in scripture when it talks about, you know, if you hear people talking about the scales on their eyes when people say lord please remove the scales in their eyes you guys there's literally things that look like in the shape of a scale that are in the eye okay all of these things you guys that talks about that people are are think that are just um imaginary or spirit or uh they think that they're spiritual things things that you can't see you guys things in the spiritual manifest into the physical, right? So even when it talks about these, um, many of these spiritual scriptures, there is a physical manifestation of them as well. This is the inner part of the eye, okay? And you guys, when you live by the law of love, right? Because remember what Jesus said, you guys, in the same way, let your light shine before men that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. For I tell you truly, until heaven and earth pass away, not a single jot, not one stroke of a pen will disappear from the law until everything be accomplished. So, you guys, there was all these laws. Um, these 613 laws in, in the law of Moses, right? But you guys, many of those laws, okay, they, um, they apply in a spiritual way, okay? Like, um, for instance, you guys, it took, okay, um, like when it talks about an unclean discharge, okay, right? You guys know what I'm talking about, an unclean discharge. We tell, we would... Uh, you know, like if you have a dream that's perverted, right? Well, you guys, a lot of the time, that stuff does not come um, a, some of the time, or maybe even probably a lot of time, that doesn't come from 
the enemy putting that in you a lot of the time a lot of that is flowing from you the inside of you from flowing out of your heart from because your heart desires it and it wants it deep down inside right but the spirit of christ so so it said when you did that that you would have to do some physical thing to atone for that sin right but we have christ and we ask christ lord please you know change my heart take those evil desires away from me you know that i would not because it's not about that you guys though that comes from us a, a spirit of lust in you okay that comes from lustful desires and the Lord and the power in the spirit of Christ and the power of what he did on Calvary atones for those things. But the spirit of Christ can, it, it will also, if you believe and if you allow it and if you seek it, it will transform your heart to where those things don't affect you anymore. Right? So, so here we have the law of Moses but what Jesus came to do and everything he was talking about superseded it. And that is how you are elevated um, in, into heavenly places. That is how you, how Jesus will call you brother because you have become an overcomer like him. Jesus says, I will, I will profess you before uh, the holy heavenly angels and before my father and I will call you brother, right? You guys, this I, this is your eye. And this is the staff, right? The staff of Moses. It's also the narrow gate where it talks about in your scriptures. Because when you live by the law of love, the law that Jesus was talking about, not by the law of Moses, right? It's, a, it's, a high, it's an even higher law than that. And it's spiritual. It flows from within the heart then you will your eye will actually start working differently you will see things differently you will see things and in, 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 in physical changes will happen in your eyes and i'm going to leave you guys um i'm going to leave the uh the link to this channel it's called enter the stars and you can play it from like 750 on to i don't know 11 minutes remnants like Israel passing through the Red Sea as it was parted by Aaron or uh, Moses the staff this is the staff of Moses this is the staff of Moses it is also the pillar of fire by night and cloud by day so this brother his gift what the Lord is using him to do is things like this giving him the ability to have the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding of these things to share um, with other brothers and sisters, but also to give God glory because he uses things that the world has deemed and, and considered foolish to, to do mighty and great things. Right. And so what happens when you live by the law of love, you guys, your eye actually starts operating physically in a different physical changes happen to your eyes like when you get baptized and as you grow in christ you guys your eyes will actually start to change they will start to change now you guys remember and um when when the israelites were getting bit by um by the serpents in the desert right it says Therefore, the people came to Moses and said, this is Numbers, I'm sorry, you guys, this is Numbers 21. Therefore, the people came to Moses and said, we have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord and against thee. Pray unto the Lord that he take away the serpents from us. And Moses prayed for the people. You see what type of, even though they were coming against, this is the type of person, this is a servant of the Lord. This is the type of person Moses was. Even though the people were coming against him, he loved them and prayed for them and interceded for them, right? This is like our Lord Jesus Christ too. Even though they were crucifying him and doing evil stuff, he didn't say a word, you guys. He took it and that's how we are supposed to be too. Because these things, you should know that when these things are happening to us, that this, for the sake of the gospel, the true gospel, that means that we have, have are called, uh, that we are, um, that this is blessings for us. This means that we are counted worthy. Like today, you guys, 
today um and this isn't i'm just sharing this you guys it's not i'm not saying this to get um glory or anything like that from anybody like we had a storm that came through the hurricane that came through and a lot of people on the street that we live on this dirt sand road and i and all a lot of the people's or some of the people's garbage cans and stuff were knocked over so as i was walking back from the store i picked up the garbage cans and sat them right back upside you know so maybe you know, if people see something like that, you know, that they'll go, you know, that they'll go, you know, that was a really good deed. And maybe they'll want to not for glory for me. I don't want it for people to go, oh, you're such a nice guy. I want them to see that still even in this world of darkness, right, that somebody there are people that care and there are people that love other people and that are willing to even lay their lives down for them. That's what we are called to do, you guys, to set other people above ourselves. That's true love, living by the law of love, you guys. In this power and the spirit of Christ, no matter what your heart has been in the past or anything, you, the power and the spirit of Christ can transform your heart into a heart like our Lord Jesus Christ. And that's what he told us and commanded us to do. And this is why he said there's very few people that actually do it. But you guys, during the tribulation, people are going to start living that way. They are going to start applying all the teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ. But it says in the scriptures, until the tribulation begins, it's not going to happen on a widespread scale. These other people are going to enter in through their death, through laying their life down for the name of Jesus Christ. And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent, and set it upon a pole, and it shall come to pass that everyone that is bitten, when he looketh upon it, he shall live. Everyone who is to look upon the pole, right, the staff with a serpent on it. Remember what the Lord said, you guys. Behold, truly I tell you, it will be more bearable for Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. Behold, I am sending you out like sheep among wolves. Therefore, be as shrewd as snakes and innocent as doves. Be shrewd as a snake. Be wise, you guys. Apply the law. Apply the law of love, the law that Jesus was talking about to your hearts, which supersedes the law of Moses. It's even greater than the law of Moses, but it is a certain thing, a, cer a structure of, of divine laws that you must follow, that when you, when you follow and live by those divine laws, none of the enemies and forces of darkness can touch you or hurt you or harm you. Death itself will not have its sting over you. I love you guys so much. And check out this video, you guys. I know it's 53 minutes long, but listen to it from about seven, about seven minutes to, you know, however you feel left. I'll leave a link in the description to this channel. It, the the, the video is called Copper King Snake Rise and Fall. Love you guys so much. God bless you.